What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Peter Parkour. No, wait. I'm Nick Fury. No. I'm a scrawl. No. I'm the real Jossie of the Distorted Theorists and today it is episode 2 of Secret Invasion. Anyone can be anyone who scrawls, who's our heroes, who's just people that are going to get killed. In the last episode, let's do a little recap. Obviously the big, big spoiler coming out of that episode. Maria Hill, MCU did her dirty. She got the old uh, axe, got the axe. Um, Kobe Smulders is gone as Maria Hill, at least as far as we can tell. But the people were taken out of this show. We're also seeing some big returns. And Nick Fury and Talos are back on the screen. Gotta love it. Um, tension is running high, it would seem. A um, lot of juxtaposition there where Nick Fury's here because of a big threat, which I don't even know if we really know the full extent of why he was called back to Earth from S.W.O.R.D. Um, but Talos is starting to deal with, he's trying to help, I guess, the human race, but at the expense of other Skrulls, even though they may be evil or dangerous, he's still seeing his race, his, uh, I guess, community being taken out by Nick Fury, uh, by S.H.I.E.L.D., S.W.O.R.D., whoever they may be, and our, and our heroes and the Avengers. So it's a little... We're, we're trying to figure out where everyone fits in this, as I said last uh, video, chess game, I guess. Um, but, as always, if you could hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, help us grow the channel. We always appreciate it. But without further ado, let's get into Secret Invasion Promises, Episode 2, right now. Let's get it. Okay. Been riding the desk for the past oh, <laughs> right back to the Captain Marvel footage. Jake Shane. Anyone. We're really like getting that. Man. They're now refreshing us so that we remember everything that was going on. <laughs> no, no footage of Brie Larson being used, but this is definitely where they found the Tesseract up in space, if y'all recall. <laughs> we about to find out what really went down after the everyone took off in Captain Marvel, so let's get it. Still showing us this pass. Is this going to be a full timeline? Because I'm all about it. Let's see what we got in store, ladies and gentlemen. Clara. Yo, more young Nick Fury. I'd like I did not think we were going to see some Nick Fury de-aged again in this show. That's pretty dope. Gravik. He met Gravik before? Ooh, okay. Now this adds a whole new element to the show already. This is the promise. While you work to keep my home safe, Carol Danvers and I will find you a new one. Let's go. Okay, so that's the promise. That's what the episode was all about. It's the title. You keep your word. I'll keep mine. Okay, so obviously this is where Nick Fury's hatred from the Skulls comes in because he probably didn't keep his promise over like 20 years, so it doesn't take 20 years to find somewhere to live. Is she dead? Is they, are they killing her? See, here's the thing. To everyone else, it looks like Nick Fury killed Maria Hill. But obviously Talos and everyone on their side knows the difference. So it's going to be, is it going to be like a, a worldwide you know, chase. Tell me something I don't know about the destruction of Skrullos. You know everything there is to know about it, period. You lying sack of shit. Just tell me something I don't. Fury is too smart. They, they, there's no way he's keeping secrets from him. He's going to figure it out. We held him off he's not the leader or, or of the Avengers for nothing. They're here. Who's here? All of us. Oh. You're telling me there's a million scrolls walking amongst us right now? Have you lost your reptilian ass mind? I sent out the call. No. That isn't in Emperor George's colony. They answered. You lied to me. Hey, we were being hunted across the universe. I had millions my people be annihilated 
or summon them here to Earth. What would you have done? This ain't about me. Oh, right, but you find using us as your spies and your errand boys. Long this actually has everything to do with you. I don't understand. <laughs> you knew how to get in touch with me, Talos, and you didn't because you didn't want me to know. Mm. Hope. My hope is that with your help. Yeah, unless they get on the same page. It's crossing humans can I mean, exist here on Earth. It's destined to implode. We've been at war with each other since we could walk upright. There is not enough room or tolerance on this planet for another species. Oh, this scene actually just gave me little chills on my back and my neck. I mean, that was that was cool. Oh my god. Me and you both, Nick. Me and you both, man. A million scrolls. Holy shit. Someone wanted to hurt me. I knew it. I said it in the last reaction. That's a, hurt her. He's the target. By proxy, Maria Hill obviously got it, so. You're the reason I'm taking my daughter back home in a box. Ooh, man, you're just twisting the knife now, lady. You're Nick Fury. Maria believed in you. She would have followed you to the gates of hell and back. Oh, fuck. Jesus, man. It wasn't his fault. How did you know Fury would be there? I didn't. Well, not to a certainty. I still don't know what her part in all this is with him. She's acting good because her dad is Talos, to see but a, was acting with Gravik. I think they both feel like outcasts, maybe. So to, they have a similar interest or uh, lifestyle. So basically, Fury never held up his end of the bargain. So guess what? Their new home is going to be Earth. And what happens if the Avengers return? Mm. You don't think I thought about that? <laughs> Will they though? Okay, so they just nominated this guy as the General Scrawl. Now, I haven't seen the comics, Secret Invasion comics. I'll be the first to admit, my boy Peter can't be here, but I'm pretty sure he isn't one of the main bad guys. It's called General Scrawl or something like that. Let me know in the comments. Correct me if I'm wrong. Enlighten me. Inform me. That's what we're here for. Oh, Dottie's back, baby. Brody is Let's popping up everywhere here. I'm still trying to figure out what side what side is he on as well? Good, bad? Is he doing the military? Yes, sir, you know? Slovakia rolls its eyes at me one more time. I'm going to put on the suit and carpet bomb it. Why are you here? You're not I'm going to put on a suit. Rhodes. Nice suit, Armani. Oh, are we finally going to get the two to interaction, the two meeting? Yeah, well, my other suit's made of titanium, so this actually constitutes considerable savings. <laughs> Great. He keeps talking Tell about the suit. Are we going to see it? Up this globe are we going to see it? Let's go. Two Avengers in the same room. You love to see it, baby. Yeah, if Hydra was a bunch of green guys who could shapeshift into your daddy. <laughs> the threat is now real and I think Nick Fury's really trying to lay that on like do you even know what you're fucking with so how long have you and that's where this show is going to really get good that invasion is real it's happened that's and it's in secret he's about possible. to say it let's go we're being invaded and we can't even tell who the invaders are Moscow and this is where this opens wide open right now maybe we should call our friends this Hold is on. no 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 we can't jump call, him, no, no, call, him, call him call him call him this is the route fight with the scrolls and next thing you know they find themselves duplicated and turned into terrorists Fury. oh he's really talking about it War. and this is what happens in I secret invasion on this. oh man i got goosebumps here we go here we go and to tell him without any reservation that he's fired that's what this moment right here right now is about nick <laughs> And you, my friend, Mr. Rhodes, calling it right now, distorted theory, he's a scrawl. 
<laughs> Rhodes is a scrawl. This it, it, version it. is at least. But that mess that you created mm -mm. in Moscow that resulted in getting one of our best people murdered, mm -mm. you earned all this smoke, brother. <laughs> this is great television. Great television. I'm all about it. <laughs> I wonder why you're out. I'm Nick Fury. Yeah, yeah. Even when I'm out. <laughs> that is the most Samuel L. Jackson shit I've ever seen, and it's in Marvel. Love it. All about it. Oh, oh, he's a scroll party. too. Let's party, shall we? <laughs> Who is that bad bitch? What are you doing in there? Whoa! Why do they have DNA from all the bad guys? He'll be ready for. What the fuck are they cooking up? Are they going for Super Scroll? That I do know about. Are they trying to make Super Scroll? So Gravik is showing up doing his own dirty work. He ain't afraid to get his hands dirty. And I still don't know who the fuck this lady is, and she's trying to get out of there ASAP. Aren't you forgetting something? Better. So Fury is married to a scroll? What the fuck? Are we supposed to know what's going on here? Is this supposed to make sense to anyone? Did he fall in love with a scroll? Is this what we're led to believe? Love is love. Okay. Let's let's unpack promises. Episode 2, Secret Invasion. It was a very it kept my attention the whole time. Some of the reactions may be let me rephrase. My reactions may have been spaced, but because there was only subtle wow moments, and you've seen them. Um, but this was a very story driven episode which conveyed a whole lot of messages answered a whole lot of questions from episode one uh so let's dive into it. let's start okay gravic we know his mission he was promised by nick fury him and the scrolls when he was at a young age that he was gonna they were gonna find another planet for the scrolls to live on in peace and it never happened we're 20 years later nick fury dropped the ball on his promise and guess what gravic is like i'm not having it anymore you made a promise you broke the promise Earth is now going to belong to the Skrulls. And there is over a million. We found out there's over a million. That don't even... Like, this is the secret invasion that everyone's been toting about. We've been wanting to see. We don't know who's a Skrull, man. It could be literally anyone. He even said himself, we can't bring the Avengers in front of the Skrulls for fear of they might take their identity. And I just can't start connecting the dots. It'll be too much. Um, Gaia. Uh, Amelia Clark, we can tell she never had a big part in this episode, barely at all, actually. But the little bit she does have, she's getting suspicious of Gravik. So you can see that her loyalty is wavering. And I think she's, you know, as these tropes usually go, I think she's going to find her way on the good side of things with her dad and probably Nick Fury, who is apparently married. Can someone please talk to me about that? Because I don't. I don't really know if this is supposed to be a big story point or if it's leading to something else. I did have someone in one of the comments of our last video have a theory that Nick Fury has a daughter that might be a scrawl or something like that. So he may be onto something. He might be a distorted theorist, that guy, whoever made that comment. Um, Rhodey. Rhodey looks to be on the... against Fury, you know, acknowledging all these scrolls are here. He doesn't seem worried but the only reason I can come up with that he wouldn't be worried is if he's a scrawl himself and he doesn't give two fucks that there's a million scrolls on the planet. Um, what else do we see? I don't know who that torture lady was. She was badass. She almost seems like someone that could work for 
I don't know, the Thunderbolts or something. I don't know. I got weird vibes that way. Um, that's, I mean, that pretty much sums up the episode. Promises, promises were made, promises were broken, but new promises are being made by Gravik that he's going to, he's going to put a hurting on the human race because this planet is his. And I mean, he has a good point, but I'm just, I'm, I'm more anxious for the future now. Are we going to see, uh, Rhodey suited up as Iron Patriot or otherwise in Armor Wars? Um, you know, who is going to be scrolling? Are we going to see any Avengers uh, characters reappear in this show, Secret Invasion? And will they be a scroll or will the scrolls take the form setting up future stuff like the Kang Dynasty or Secret Wars? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me for my reaction for Secret Invasion Episode 2 Promises. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. As always, if you want to support the channel, and we do appreciate it, if you could hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave a comment down below who you think of Scrolls, what do you think of the episode, I'd love to hear it, and I'll write you back ASAP. And with that, I am the real Jossie of the Distorted Theorists, and like we always say around here, keep it real. <laughs>